Netflix's mother-daughter drama Ginny and Georgia recently returned for its second season. The show follows a 30-year-old mom and her teen daughter who moved to a small town in New England. And you might have recognized the actress who plays the young and single mom Georgia. That would be Brienne Howie, and while this is her biggest role thus far, she's appeared in 90210, The Passage, Dollface, and more. In reality, Brienne can relate to both sides of the TV duo, but more so Georgia's daughter, Ginny, because she came from a similar family structure growing up. While Brienne Howie is no doubt a rising star these days due to the success of the show, she's still a fresh face, which means there's a lot to learn about her. In this video, we'll talk about the actress's early life and how it's similar to Ginny and Georgia's, her journey to Hollywood and more, here for you on Famous Life. Brienne Howie was born on May 24th, 1989 in Los Angeles, California. More specifically, she grew up living in the Pasadena area. She was raised by her mother, who like the character on the show, Georgia, was also young and single. And Brienne would later take inspiration from her own mom for playing the role. In reality though, Brienne grew up the eldest of five siblings and her real life upbringing didn't come with the outlandish drama and murder like the Netflix show. Brienne's mom was for the most part raising her kids all on her own. She was younger than the typical mom too, so that was the same. Brienne attended an all-girls Catholic high school in Pasadena where she was a self-proclaimed a good girl, and apparently her classmates weren't as mean as they portray on movies and TV. She said, my school had a lot of cliques, but everyone was wearing the same thing. No one had any makeup on, no one did their hair. But what was cool in that, there was no drama. You'd hear stories about other all-girls schools in that area where girls were hooking up in the bathroom, but I didn't see it. All the drama was on the weekends. Brienne spent most of her time focusing on getting good grades in high school, but did join the improv team at school and realized she loved it. She explained, I think it was there that I kind of found my voice because I was involved in improv in the plays and I would also do the plays at the all boys school. It was just sort of what the cool girls were doing. You would think that Brienne already knew she wanted to be an actress since she was a kid, but she didn't realize that until she was going off to college. At first, she actually wanted to be a flight attendant because she loved to travel in her family family traveled a lot. Not to mention, one particular movie inspired that early dream for Brienne even more. She told Maxim in 2014, When I saw a view from the top, Christina Applegate and Gwyneth Paltrow made being a flight attendant seem like the coolest job ever. While that's not what ended up happening, and by the time college came around, Brienne was taking her hobby seriously and continued her acting education. She studied theater at New York University Tisch School for the Arts in the Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute. In addition to to her major, Brienne decided to minor in child psychology at NYU, but at first, it wasn't on purpose. She explained, I found myself taking all of those college classes, and before I knew it, my college counselor was like, you know, you basically have a minor. All the classes I chose to take fulfilled the requirements for the child psychology program. I love kids, I'm from a huge family, and I think I always have been curious to know why we are the way we are, which I believe all stems from our childhood. Brienne has a big family with four younger siblings, and she's very close with them. Her parents were reportedly both remarried and had those kids, so three of them are a lot younger than her. But Brienne didn't mind. She liked studying child psychology for that reason too, because she liked learning more about family dynamics and always loved being a role model to her siblings. Brienne added, it was cool to play a kind of different role in their life, being a little bit older than them. I'd be running them to their practices and helping them with their homework and just kind of watching them grow up. It's nice when you have someone looking up to you. They think everything you do is so cool. While she was at NYU completing her studies, Brienne got some acting gigs, including starring in short films like Party Favors in 2008, Appropriate Sex in 2009, and Sucker Punch a year after. This is when she really started taking acting seriously as a career and investing more of herself into it. Before graduating a semester early in 2011, Brienne even landed her first ever TV role on CW's 90210, which was reportedly her first audition. She said about this experience, I remember being very nervous and showing up way too early. I went in for the role of Girl in Green and ended up booking a different role with a name Stacy. Her character Stacy appeared in season three, episode four, and while it was a small role, it was enough to get the ball rolling in Brienne's career. She would go on to make guest appearances in shows like The Middle, Revenge, and Scream Queens, as well as appearing in Twisted Tales in 2013. Brienne scored her first major movie role in 2014 when she starred as Candy in the comedy Horrible Bosses 2, alongside Jason Bateman and Jason Sudeikis, which is a role you might remember her from. In 2015, Brienne moved to London for some time, 
film her first regular starring role in the British TV series I Live With Models. Then another big role would come for Brienne when she played Kat Rance in the TV adaptation series of The Exorcist on Fox in 2016. Her character Kat was the sister of Possessed Girl played by Hannah Kalsuka. In 2019, Brienne starred as Shauna, a viral in The Passage in the same year. She started a recurring role as Allison B in the show Dollface on Hulu alongside Kat Dennings. She would also return for season two in early 2022. Currently, however, Brienne is best known for her lead role on Netflix's Ginny and Georgia, which is her biggest project to date. The show was released in February 2021 and became popular quickly, being renewed for a second season only a few months after. The second season was recently released, coming out on the platform on January 5th, 2023. Brienne has talked about how she always wanted to play a motherly role, which is exactly what she got playing George on the hit Netflix Mother Daughter show. While her character Georgia Miller might be a flawed character in some ways, she does take the role of being a mother to Antonia Gentry's Ginny and son Austin very seriously. When talking about why she joined Ginny and Georgia, Brienne said that it was because of her personal connection to the script and how she related to the character. Considering her own mom was only 21 when she had her, she said, As soon as I read the script, it was still shocking and jarring because George is crazy, but it was slightly less jarring because I've had conversations like that with my mom when I was younger. So while the show's executive pulled from her own mother for the character, Brienne also used her mother as an inspiration for her Georgia. If you don't follow the Netflix show, it isn't your average mother-daughter drama, that's for sure. The second season picked up with Georgia and Ginny in a falling out after the teen found out her mom killed her stepfather, Kenny, before their move to Wellsbury. Clearly, while Brienne's Georgia is always dressed to the nines and looking perfect with a smile, her eyes tell a different story. And she isn't the typical perfect mom, but she would do anything to protect her two kids. When asked to describe Georgia, Brienne explained, Georgia is diabolical, but also well-intentioned. She has a limited toolbox. You know she's doing her best, but above all, her only motivation is to give her kids a better life than she had. Well, whatever the actress is doing, it's obviously working, and Ginny and Georgia is a fan favorite. Since the second season aired, the show debuted in the number one spot on the English TV list. Netflix hasn't confirmed whether Ginny and George is getting a third season, but Brienne said as far as the story goes, there's so much more to tell. Her creator and showrunner have very sinister plans for everyone's future. So hopefully, Brienne Howie and the rest of the cast will be returning to everyone's screens for a third season, and it sounds like that will be the case. As for what's in store for the actress aside from this series, we'll have to see what else she adds to her list of projects. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.